Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. Got Din Djarin. This is the uh, Walmart exclusive in the United States. Uh, it's just dropped in Targets here um, in Australia the last the last few days, really. Um, and uh, yeah, each store seems to be getting a reasonable amount. I know they're selling quick. Um, they are moving very, very quick. Um, managed to pick one up today. I was very, very excited. I wasn't expecting to find one. Uh, I know the targets have been getting pretty picked over pretty damn quick, um, particularly with this one. Um, and I understand why. It's a fantastic figure. I uh, do have another one on the way that I'm going to keep carded because uh, look at it. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> it is numbered VC-177 and there was a bit of a bit of an error apparently because the the uh, incinerator trooper was also 177 so uh, this one is bound to be destined to receive a new number or the next time they release the incinerator trooper he'll get a new number so still a little bit up in the air with this particular figure but um boy am I excited for this one I know a couple of folks over over in the UK or England specifically um, did get this a few weeks ago now. I uh, saw so Bosk Bounty's got it and uh, Only One Kenobi's got it as well. So um, yeah, let's open it up and have a look. All right, here he is. Uh, this is another exceptional figure. Now this one is a repaint. Although technically the other one is a repaint of because uh, it's a uh, VC-181 and this one is 177. So up to you. <laughs> um, so I will just say it is a repaint of the regular Beskar Mando that has just come out. Um, obviously, battle damage this time. And Young Grogu. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, just another absolutely knockout figure. I really, really love this one. Um, can't get enough Mando at the moment. Season 2 just finished on an absolute nail-biting, incredibly beautiful end. Um... It's the best thing I can say. Uh, so accessory wise, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to call Grogu a, an accessory. He is his own little character and he is tiny. So we'll get a close up look. Zoom in a little bit. And uh, I was expecting Vintage Collection Grogu to be, you know, very tiny to the point where he was just going to be a solid, solid mold. But he still has a little movable head. And little movable arms. And I think, I can't tell. No, maybe not the movable hands. I'm, I don't think so. That's uh, just the way they're molded in there, I think. Looks like they could have been, but absolutely stinking adorable. He is tiny. So small. But a fantastic addition. I'm so glad to have him in the vintage collection. To get a look at the uh, the figure itself, uh, just before that, comes with his Camtono. No, I haven't had a good look at this thing yet, but the uh, ice cream maker. It does have a flip down latch. I haven't worked out how to do it yet. Okay, so okay. Looks like pop off the top and then the sides or well, one side fold, folds open like that. So you can go find the accessories. There it is, it was stuck to my arm. You got a little stack of Beskar bricks, little Imperial insignia there. You can just sort of drop that one in there, looks cool. You also get a single piece of Beskar. Uh, I'll probably leave them in there because it's so small that it's probably going to go missing really, really quick. So we'll uh, play with this a little bit more to to work out exactly how that works. But uh, nice little accessory. Uh, the six-inch one that just came out should have come with the with a Camtono as well. But uh, this will be all right. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Jetpack as well, pegs in beautifully with the cape, still in place, fantastic, does come with his pulse rifle, and of course
course, being that this figure does represent his sort of appearance from uh, Chapter 7 of Season 1, where he's... Uh, early Chapter 8, perhaps. Yep, Chapter 8, uh, where he does cop a fair bit of damage and beat down. Looks a little bit worse for wear. He does have a swappable head this time, which is hid hidden behind the package. So I'll just pop on the Dinjarin head and we'll get a close-up look. And uh, I think that's pretty good. There you go, just focus for me. There we go. I don't think that looks too bad at all. Thought he might have had a little bit of a, you know, more beat up looking face. You know, he did get the uh, proverbial kick cracked out of him at some point. He was on his deathbed. But uh, yeah, you could absolutely weather this one up if you wanted to. But uh, yeah, I was inspired by this figure to make the swappable head for the six inch one. And it worked out an absolute treat. So I'm really, really thrilled with this one. Looks brilliant. And I believe they use the same sort of head joints, neck joints as each other, so you could swap the head out for the you know the pre-Beskar Mandalorian, the nice clean Beskar Mandalorian, you could do it all. That's which is really really cool. It's got all the articulation you want, which is nice. And knees. Hips, Ooh, zoom in, out, neck, head, torso, just really cool, great figure, really excited to have this one, uh, like I said, did pick this up here in Target in Australia, it retails for $35, which is a little bit steep for vintage collection, but given it is an exclusive, um, I did pay a lot more for one on eBay before I knew they were released, so I didn't think we were in with a chance. Um, but you know, sometimes patience pays off, and I, I I didn't accept that, and I just went and bought one thinking I wasn't going to be able to get it in stores. But here we have it. Beautiful stuff. Thank you. I really like this one. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And hit the notification bell so all my new uploads get sent straight to you or alerted to you straight away. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Till my next video, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.